since we're working on the engine, this might be a good time to stop and break this down a little bit. For those of you not familiar with Volkswagen engines, they might be a little weird. For one thing, they're located in the back of the car, obviously. They're an air-cooled engine, so they don't have a radiator or any water in the engine at all. This actually helps with the preservation of the engine. So um, these are actually fairly common to get up and get running again, as long as the engine was in good shape. Um, this car had a shifting problem, and I suspect that's why it stopped. It looks like this engine uh, ran fine. Just a little explanation. So this is uh, what they call a single port. So on the heads, they've got, this is the intake manifold, and you've got a single port that goes into the heads. The heads are located right here. I guess to back up a little bit, this is a horizontally opposed engine, meaning uh, it sits on its side. So it's not a like a V8 or a V6, or it's not a straight inline six. And of course, what happens is this is the distributor. So spark comes in here from the coil, and then it gets sent out to the spark plugs, which are located all the way on the end by the heads. Carburetor's up on top. Fuel comes in here from the back. It goes into the fuel pump, up to the top, down through the intake manifold, and into the heads, which gives the engine its power. This has a generator on it. Some of them, like my uh, 58, actually have an aftermarket alternator on it. The biggest difference between a generator and an alternator is this voltage regulator. One looks like it's been converted to 12 volts. Some of these uh, originally were 6 volts up until the uh, really late 60s, I believe. So what happens is this is an air-cooled engine. So the generator actually has a fan on it. I've got one of these outside the car. And what you can see is as the engine, the crankshaft, turns the generator, it turns a fan. So this housing here holds the fan, which of course is attached to the generator. There's an inlet on the back that lets the air in. And so what the air does is it goes through a series of ductworks and it comes out directly onto the cylinder heads, which are located underneath these tins. That helps cool it. That gives it the air coolness. You'll also see these two ducts here. And what happens is this air comes in and then it actually flows down from here into these little holes and that's how the car gets heat. It's actually an air heated car so there's no radiator. There's no uh, heater core to send hot water through so what it uses is the hot air from the engine and it sends it into the cabin. So this ductwork goes into this little hole right here that actually goes through the muffler believe it or not and that's how it gets hot air into the cabin. It is funny, back in the day you would see people bundling up from uh, the Volkswagen heaters because they come out in the cabin at floor level and so uh, people would bundle up from the knees up with coats and uh, hats and mittens and then everything from the knees down would be uh, nice and toasty. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the tour of the Volkswagen Flat 4 engine. If you like the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Please don't forget to hit that bell icon. It really does help the channel out and it'll let you know when we get a new video posted. Thank you.